Randy here. Uh, I know guys it's been a while but we, we tried to get everything straightened out here where we can shoot some of these videos. I promised y'all one on the idle circuit and here's part one of it. Now we got a 4150 double pumper that I'm going to show you the video on but this carburetor is no different on the idle circuit as this carburetor right here. This is a 1850 vacuum secondary. So the secondaries are worked off of a diaphragm. Alright now here we go. We got the 4150 here. What I want y'all to do is this is the first step to correct the idle circuit if it's running rich and these metering block screws are not making hardly any difference in the mixture, the adjustment. You can turn them all in and it don't make much difference. This is the first step to correcting it. Now what we're going to do is what I want y'all to do is just crank your motor, warm it up, get it idling the best you can. At where it idles the best, the speed and all, then cut the motor off, take the carburetor off, and what we're going to do is look and see how much of this transfer slot, this long slot here, is exposed without touching the idle, changing the idle speed at all, just like it come off your car. We want to look at these transfer slots, and we don't want but about 40 thousandths exposed, right around there. You know, you can go down as low as 30, maybe up as much as 60, but we've probably got almost an eighth of an inch here. That's way too much. Now what happens when it gets this much exposed is pulling all the fuel mixture at idle through the transfer slot and hardly none through the idle slot. Now, when we bring this mixture, I mean this idle speed down, we're going to actually unscrew it here and get it down to right about where it should be, right about here. You see the difference in the actual, how much is actually exposed on the throttle plate. You can see that transfer slot. Now we only got probably 40, 50 thousandths exposed. Now we're going to be pulling less fuel right out of this slot and more at the actual idle port. And this is the actual idle port. Okay, right here. That is the actual idle port. This is a transfer slot, which is part of your idle port, and it transitions from your idle to your main well, to your main jet. It helps the, the in-between, before it starts pulling out of the booster, that right there is going to let it pull a little more fuel as you're cranking the throttle. It's pulling more fuel right there. Now, when we got that much exposed here, or what we first showed at the very first, before I changed it, we need to take and get more air bypassing these throttle plates. And the best way to do this, and you got to be kind of careful, is to take, now this is a different, little different throttle plate, but it's still going to work the same way. We want to take on, on the idle circuit side, which is on the same side of the butterfly as the idle circuit, come in just about like these are exposed, about a quarter of an inch inward, or maybe three eighths of an inch inward. Just get it away from the, right at the edge. So right here is a good area. And we want to start off maybe drilling us a 70 to 80 thousandths hole right there. All four of them. And remember they want to be, the hole needs to be on the same side as the idle circuit, as your ports are. You don't want them inboard, you want them outboard. Alright, and when you do this, what it does is it allows air to bypass more air to bypass the throttle plate through these holes. And it lets you close the throttle plate down because your idle will come up because it's bypassing air. So you'll drop this screw backwards counterclockwise and that's when it actually, let me switch throttle plates here, it's going to start coming down and looking like this. It's going to look like you've only got about 40 or 50 thousandths, maybe even 35, yeah, 30, it doesn't matter, as long as we don't have, get up there above 70 thousandths, 65, 70 thousandths, that's about the max I like to see. So when you do that, then all of a sudden we're pulling fuel now, more fuel out of the idle circuit than we are the transfer slot. And when you do that, you're going to get your adjustment back here. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you where the actual mixture comes from. It actually draws fuel from right here, which is kind of hard to see guys, from the main well 
here across to a little orifice here. Of that orifice, there's a tube here for the idle circuit, and it comes out right here, and then it travels down the metering block, and this hole is actually lined up with the transfer slot. So the transfer slot's pulling fuel out here, and then the actual mixture screw is pulling fuel across to this hole, which in turn lines up with these. This is the transfer slot, and this is the idle mixture hole. So these is pulling, is pulling air out of this bleed here, in here, which is right here on the meter block, guys. Oops, excuse me. Right here is where the air is being sucked out of this air bleed on the front, and it's drawing fuel right here out of here. So they're almost right together drawing fuel and air, so it's emulsifying as it comes down and it gets to the transfer slot. Here's the transfer slot. It's actually this hole right here. All right, now when we change this mixture screw, this mixture screw, all it's letting is fuel go from here to right here, so it transfers to the idle circuit here. It comes down this to the actual transfer slot, and then it comes across to the actual idle mixture port. And this is where this screw right here is adjusting between here and here is adjusting how much can transfer through here. So what happens is when we get too much coming down here <clears throat> and we got too much transfer slot open here, open exposed on the throttle plate, it's drawing all the fuel right here. So when it draws across here, tries to draw it across here, it's not making any difference. You got too much fuel flowing here and here. But when we, had, when we actually close this transfer slot off right here, and it's not got much coming through here. We don't have much, we don't have much actual fuel coming through here when that transfer slot's only got a little bit exposed. So then the majority of the fuel has to come through this idle port right beside it, right there. So that's why we don't have no idle mixture adjustment is because it's all been, it's coming out of this slot because it's too wide. It's open like so and almost all of it's coming through the actual transfer slot. When we close that up, then all of a sudden we got adjustment. We got our mixture adjustment back on our throttle plate right here with the screw because it's coming across here and draw most of the fuel through the actual idle port instead of the transfer slot. The transfer slot is part of the idle circuit. It's going to draw fuel through there, just like I said, when it's, it, when it's got too much exposed right here, it's going to draw all the fuel here, and this it's just so much that you can't control the fuel through the idle slot. You cannot. So when you close it down by drilling these four holes in the butterfly, start off with that, like a 70, 80 thousandths drill bit and drill your four nice little holes. Don't, don't press down hard on it. Just take your time and put your four nice little holes there. And then if you need more, if you crank it up, you adjust the mixture and you see it start adjusting better. And then when you get to adjusting it all, get the engine hot, get the mixture adjusted, the idle speed, then let it cool off. Take your carburetor back off. Check it again and see where you're at. And if you're in that 35 to about 65 thousandths of the transfer slot, then you're in there. If not, drill it a little bigger. And each time you're going to notice the throttle plate close up and that gap, get a little smaller, less transfer slot here exposed. And that will be the first step to fixing your idle circuit. Now we're going to go in depth another, there's going to be a part two where we, I'm going to show you how to, to actually control the orifice the fuel flowing through the orifice on the idle circuit. We'll actually get into putting a little, little bleed in there. I'll show you how to do it with a, with a, putting some threads in the metering block right here, and we'll actually, we'll actually put put bleeds right here, guys. Let me get a better picture where you can see this. 
and we're going to actually put a, a actual little screw and bleed right here and it's not hard to do guys it just takes a little getting used to don't be scared of doing it if you ain't sure then try you on a, try to get an old meter block that you can just try first to get it in there but we'll i'll i'll get into that on the next video but this is <clears throat> this is going to fix a lot of them this is going to fix a a bunch of of problems with idle circuit i can tell you once you get that that transfer slot only maybe 40 thousandths exposed then you're going to see the actual mixture start adjusting and if you don't then i'll i'll cover that in the second video but it it's going to make a difference all right guys this now this will work on the 750 double pump or 850 650 on the the vacuum secondary carburetors like this 1850 it, it'll work the same way on it guys the same exact way you can see this one's already been modified you can see the four small holes and do all four barrels when you do it do all four butterflies and this is the first step to getting your idle right and then next video we'll get into actual restricting the fuel and changing the actual air bleed size which will between all of them you'll you'll be on the money and and this might get you right on the bar part to start with and you might not have to make any more changes now we will get into different, we're going to get into a lot of videos on the carburetors, guys, if y'all like it. I know it's took us a good while to get back with you, but be patient. We're going to, we're going to start doing a bunch of videos, hopefully, hopefully start doing three or four a week. And I'm going to try to cover everything. And if there's something I'm not covering that you're not sure about, if you can let us know, we'll, we'll put it in the video. And, uh... I guess that's about it, guys. That's about the whole deal. And uh, to start with, that's part one of the idle circuit. This is Randy, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.